If you would prefer us to be exclusive, you could say that. But okay. Well, forgive me if I've been taken up. A... You checked up on me, so you don't trust me. I did. I don't know. I... welcome back to my channel once again today i'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys i actually haven't done a video regarding this couple i actually just found out about them very very recently so i was like i need to do this video so here it goes today i'm gonna be talking about 10 percent but before we get into this video i just want to say thank you so much for everybody who likes who comments who shares and who subscribes to my channel i really do appreciate all the love and all the support you guys been showing me so let's not waste any more time let's get right into this new tv show that i just found on amazon prime so let's go so my main focus will to be talking about the relationship between rebecca and marcus so the, the show is actually called 10 percent it has one season available it was actually released this year 2022 it has eight episodes available and it's actually a very nice comedy drama slash drama so you will actually have a very very nice time and yes it's in english so yes amazon prime they really did good and this one is very different it's based in london so we you know it's it is it's english but it's different i like it so my main focus will be talking about the relationship between marcus and rebecca please let me know down below in the comments if you have heard about this couple if you have watched the show what do you think about it do you like it do you dislike it and what would you rate it from one to ten me personally i would strongly rate it a nine i really like the connection that the two women have with one another so i'm gonna you know giving you guys a little bit details about their relationship and let's get right into this video and i hope you guys enjoy it and let's go right and she's I wasn't going to go. Found? I could have, yes. It's just I. But the fact that it's true, you know, the fact that you're sat here now, it's. I am a judge. No, I agree. <laughs> it's really good. I would like to know what to think. Hi. Hi. I didn't expect to see you. Yeah, no, I was gonna call. To trusting your gut. But I want to say. Yes, it was, yeah. But, uh, you know. Uh... So basically, like I said, I'm not going to be giving the full details regarding the show. I'm just going to be pointing out the most imp important points that I want you to know before you go watch the show. So basically, the main topic for me will be, like I said already, it's going to be about Rebecca and Marcus. So let's get right into it. Rebecca is an agent who's determined to set up a production business to produce her own project that she is passionate about. Uh, uh, she actually fell, uh, fell in love with Marcus' work because Marcus... She, she is a very well-known journalist and she is very well-known for a military report that she did and Rebecca reached out to her because she wants to use Marcus' report, you know, Marcus' project and, you know, and produce it and make it into a movie. Because of that reasons, that's how the woman actually met. They actually met on a very professional business level. There was no, you know, going on a date, none of that. You know, it was straightly business. Uh, at the beginning, Marcus didn't want to accept it because she didn't really feel, you know, know that um, Rebecca was serious about her project and Marcus is very very passionate about her reports and journalism and all of that so she wanted if someone going to make it into a movie they wanted someone that really cares about the project but later on she knew that Rebecca was the person for it so she accepted Rebecca's offer and that's how they started to produce you know to make this report into a whole movie uh, so that's how the, you know during all of that that's actually how the two women connected both with each other and decided to get involved romantically but only on a physical way like hooking up with each other occasionally it wasn't nothing serious between them uh, they had a really good connection but they weren't exclusive with each other so far for that reason is one is actually one in the episodes Rebecca you know felt that type of way because Marcus she went out was someone else and she got super bothered with it because she was texting her like for her them to do something and marcus wasn't replying and after that she actually found out that marcus she went out with someone else and rebecca was feeling a type of way with it like jealous concerned so yes 
they had a conversation about it and marcus told rebecca if you want us to be exclusive you should say so and that for rebecca was kind of like mm, i don't know because rebecca is very scared to be vulnerable but marcus is vulnerable she's not afraid to show when she cares about someone and rebecca is the whole opposite she likes to act tough she likes to act hard but she's actually very very sensitive and she's very afraid to be vulnerable so when marcus told her you know if you, if you want us to be exclusive you can just say it so yes and that's when rebecca actually let her guard down and told her okay let's do it so this so after the conversation they made the relationship official and started to take things to the next level so at that point they were already officially in a couple and doing all of that um but through all of, but through the middle and the end of the season they broke up because of a situation that happened regarding the casting of the project if you guys want more details about it i will or about that i will recommend you to go watch the show so we can get the full details regarding that specific reason and also because rebecca found out that marcus had had an offer to go to sudan to work on a project for five months and marcus was furious with Rebecca because she went through her personal email to find out that information because Marcus was like why do you go through my to my personal emails to find out things that you know I would have told you and then Rebecca's reason why I, I I knew you wasn't gonna tell me and it just popped up I didn't go look for it I was using your laptop it popped up and I pressed on it and I read it but uh, Marcus felt re betrayed marcus felt like you know rebecca overstepped there's certain things you shouldn't do when it comes to relationship especially when it comes to your personal your, your professional life like she didn't trust her why would you go through my personal things you know and that really broke marcus trust with rebecca so she ended up ending their relationship regarding that and also because of the whole casting situation on the of the movie so after that event marcus broke up with rebecca and at the end of the episode you know and at the end of the episode eight before marcus leaves to sudan rebecca goes after her and gives her her house keys to marcus and told her you can go to sudan go work i know how how much you love your work and i don't want to take that away for you so go to sudan and after you come back from sudan i'm gonna be here waiting for you and for order for you to know where to find me here is my house keys that's basically a way of telling her we're not breaking up you go do your thing we're gonna be separate for five months but when you come back you know where to find many and here's the reinsurance of that so she gave her her keys and marcus of course she accepted the keys and she accepted the proposal of of, of rebecca and you know and she left to sudan uh to be honest i really feel like in season two we will get way 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 more camera time for for them and i really feel like they're gonna reconnect after five months so i'm really excited to see what's gonna happen between the between the two ladies between the two ladies when it comes to that uh i'm really excited for season two so far i really really like them this is definitely one of my favorite couples of 2022 so yes guys please let me know down below in the comment what you think about the storyline so far do you like it do you dislike it and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and i hope i see you guys again at the next video and please please let me know what type of commentary would you like me to do on what type of movies and tv shows so i can go and do it and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and one thing i also wanted to point out this show is really good it's a it's a very high quality show so i don't think you will regret watching it so i would definitely recommend you to go watch it and i hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye